Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to hide your speedometer if you must. First things first, obviously we're using DaVinci Resolve. My file is 50 FPS and 4K. I will edit it as such. So I'm gonna go to File, Project Settings, and I'm gonna put the timeline resolution to 4K. If you must edit in 1080p, and export in 4K, that's also fine. So 50 FPS and 4K. Save. So this is the clip I will import. So I'm gonna drag it in the media tab, let's say. Now I'm gonna go to edit and I'm just gonna drag it in there. So this is my clip. As you can see from my audio under the video, I know exactly when I'm accelerating, so it's pretty easy to understand it. So first I will cut the clip. You can either use the razor or press B on Windows PC. I think Mac is the same. And then delete, so it can bring it back. And again, B or just press the razor. Now I'm checking my clip and I'm gonna see where exactly I need to do it. This is obviously kilom <coughs> kilometers. <coughs> right. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I know exactly where. But I want to fine tune it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a bit on the clip and I'm going to use the arrow keys to bring it exactly where I want it to start. 16 kilometers. <coughs> so now I will choose the end point and again the razor or B. Now the middle clip is the one I want to blur. I'm going to go to color tab Now in the color tab, you can see the middle clip is selected, so I'm on the correct clip. I'm going to right click on the node and I'm going to put a serial node. It's very important to put a serial node, otherwise it won't work. Now this is my tracking tab, tracker window, and this is my window. So first we have to choose the window, resize it more or less to cover the speedometer. It does not need to be perfect at all. It just needs to be, you know, good enough. You can even make it bigger. It wouldn't have any, any issues or any effect, but I just, I like to keep it neat. I'm resizing it and rotating it. Thankfully, my speedometer is rectangular, so it's really easy for me to, to place it. Now I'm gonna use a tracker tab. all these selected, clip selected, and I'm just gonna press play. And DaVinci Resolve will do its job. You can see it's tracking, like in a movie with all the crosses. Now, if you rotate your head or looking around a lot, that might need fine tuning, but in this case, it's not a problem. I might show you in another video how to do the fine tuning. It kept it more or less perfect. I'm happy with that. You can see it really worked well. Gaussian Blur on the library, Effects tab, drop it on. You can see it's already blurred. My favorites are around 500, 0 0.500 for 4K clips. It just looks pleasant, doesn't look disturbing at all. Then you go to edit and you can see it in action. Now let's play it in full screen. All looks nice, normal, and then boom. You see even the edges are like fading blur, which is really nice. And that's pretty much it, it's extremely simple guys. 
you only need to use a few things. It's very, very easy. And again, if you need to fine tune it, you can do it on the tab. I'm sure you can find it yourself, but if you want more info, I will definitely help you with that. Have a lovely day and I hope this was helpful for you.